Imagine a fish so elusive, it vanished for over 85 years. This is the story of Channa Amphibius, the Chael Snaked. Our story begins in the early 1800s. The Himalayas were home to an olive green, orange striped snake known locally as Borachan. The first account of this species is available from a report by J.T. Pearson, curator of the Museum of the Asiatic Society of Bengal, published in 1839. This was based on two specimens received from D.C. Russell of the Bengal Civil Service. Subsequently, McClelland, a British doctor who worked for the East India Company, received two specimens from the Chail River, a tributary of the Tista within the Brahmaputra Basin. But he misidentified them as Ophiocephalus barca. Later in 1845, McClelland described Chana amphibious based on the specimens he had received. Later in 1876, Francis Day treated amphibious as a junior synonym of Chana barca. But in 1938, Shaw and Shabir subsequently resurrected Chana amphibious from this synonymy, using specimens collected from the vicinity of the Chail River. They provided a colored drawing and a monochrome photograph that reveals important characteristics of the fish. No additional Chana amphibious were collected since then, and the species remained lost for over 80 years. Fast forward to late 2024. A team of Indian scientists, led by Dr. Praveen Raj, conducting a field survey in the Chail River region, made an extraordinary discovery. Three specimens of Channa amphibious. Not only did they rediscover it, but they also captured its first ever live image, collected DNA, and confirmed its identity through genetic analysis. Channa amphibious reportedly lives in shallow, muddy, slow-flowing streams surrounded by riparian vegetation in the Terai grasslands. These habitats are seasonal and local fishers reveal that adult fish often reside in submerged crab burrows during the dry season, explaining why the species remained hidden for so long. The story of Chana amphibious reminds us of that nature still holds secrets, even in places we think we know. With every rediscovery comes a second chance, not just for the species, but for us to get it right this time.